did a really nice job of executing some bunts in that inning and did a nice job of being ready to hit with runners in scoring position early in counts and uh, yeah, made the most of our opportunities. Kind of take us through Bird Camper's day. It seemed like, I mean, he gave up the solo shot, but bounced back pretty well from that. Yeah, solo shots are okay. Still, yeah. you know, with three walks and, you know, the leadoff walk, obviously we don't want that. Uh, but, you know, again, it's, uh, you know, he, we have to remember he was kind of playing catch up early in the season uh, with his pitch count. So it was nice to get that built up a little bit and see him kind of get in his normal range. Uh, a little bit shorter week this week, so we wanted to get him out of there in a, in a reasonable uh, count. But, uh, yeah, it's, his stuff held. And again, velocity wise, he was about the same. Uh, towards the end of the game as he was at the start, so that's a good sign. It seemed like that fifth inning was pretty much all singles. Is that kind of what you want, keep the line moving, that mentality? Well, I don't take them however they come. You know, it's just you, 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 they're coming different ways. You can't really decide what's going to happen. We got in a couple of situations where we felt like we had some room to bunt, and, you know, it's one thing to call them, it's another thing to execute them, and uh, that's a credit to our guys. They they uh, they got it done when we needed to. Well, Ben Miller, I know we were talking about him yesterday, but got that result out there today. It seems like he's still coming along. Oh, he's he's been scoring up the ball. Like I told him today, you got to hit it where they can't catch it because, I mean, he absolutely smoked three balls yesterday and nothing to show for it. So he took care of it himself, and uh, he lost one, which was great to see. But Ben's going to hit. He's going to be just fine. And that left side of the infield, are you guys still kind of just tuning it or just playing matchups or – are you guys comfortable doing that, or I'll, I'll, do you see somebody win that job? Well, Altaville is he's earned the right right now to stay on the field, wherever it is. Uh, you know, Bryson, we get him one game, and then he's he's been out for a week, and then play him a game and out for a week. Right. So I'm just hoping he feels good tomorrow, so we have some options. But no, I like our pieces, and they're just it's going to be a continuing competition, and, and we'll see how it uh, plays out. Is the back thing with Cronenfold is it kind of a day to day thing, and how he feels, or yeah, I mean it just did. For whatever reason, it's just getting tight after playing, and uh, I thought he moved around great. And when he's been out there, he's been great. It's just the the next day, it hasn't been good. So hopefully, we have good news tomorrow. Back to back, really good pitching performances. Uh, do you think the guys have kind of a read on these batters, or? Well, it doesn't matter who's at the plate. You just execute your pitches, and, and it's still not as sharp as we want it to, to be. They've got a lot of very good hitters, so you make too many mistakes, you're going to get hurt. And uh, you know the whole key is to not have guys on base when they hit their homers and give up two solo home runs. We'll take solo homers. That's fine. We can, we'll give those up. Derek did a nice job right after getting up the homer, pounding the strike zone again. And that's what you have to do. Any other questions, guys? Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Uh, when Derek opened.